Greetings printing enthusiasts, my name is Vicki Soma, this is tgoth 3 d Today's video, I'm just going to do some quick rapid fire updates. Uh, first off, this weekend, if you're a 3D printing addict like me, and that you're on the East Coast, and you're looking for an event to fuel that addiction, come up to Delaware. Printed Solid is having a grand opening, they're going to have uh, their new warehouse completely open. They're going to have possibly a TAS 6 there for people to actually physically look at. They're going to have all the filaments that you can touch. They're going to have makers like myself. And if I'm not enough to come up and visit, then you should also know that Joel Telling, the 3D printing nerd, is going to be there, which means my four-year-old is going to get to meet his idol. Next off, if you've followed me on Twitter, you might already know this, but I am a two-printer household now. Um, we have, of course, the MakerCare M2, which has been servicing me so very well for the past year. Um, we've also added in the Wayne Hound Duplicator i3, and actually, that, that printer is doing a good job at keeping up with the Maker Gear. The when how could not have arrived at a better time. My husband was doing a take your daughter to work day event at his office. The last year, the marketing department sort of won the take your daughters to work day. They had like little buttons that the kids can make and take home. So this year we took that when how to the event and my husband taught them programming with OpenJS CAD and each kid got to walk away with a printout of their name. So all in all, I ended up printing uh, 47 um, customized names and between the two printers is a very stress-free event. I've had a few custom orders since we've last talked. Um, a lot of, I've had some Thingiverse prints, so nothing too exciting there. And then I also had a custom request. I do a multicolored 3D printed birds on Etsy, and a lady in Minnesota asked for a pileated woodpecker. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Let's just say woodpecker. So she wanted a woodpecker. <laughs> So this is another one of my multicolored bird prints. Um, using my single extruder machine, I'm just switching filaments between the layers. So I print two millimeters of white, and then I print 0.4 millimeters in gray, and then I do 0.3 millimeters in red, and then I finish it up in black. So woodpecker, she was quite happy with it. I'm actually quite smitten with it myself. Finally, I'm ramping up for a craft fair. Um, my town has a craft fair the first weekend in June. It has 10,000 people visit. And that was my biggest craft show last fall, so I want to do a good showing here. I'm gonna have some staples that, I, that did well last time. Um, there's a gazebo that's in my town, and that actually was the surprise bestseller last time. Uh, this show, I'm actually amping it up, and I have a colored version of the gazebo with filament switches. We are near Quantico, Virginia. Um, Quantico, Virginia is home to the National Museum of the U.S. Marine Corps. Uh, last fall, I did a model of the Marine Corps Museum, because it is actually the most stunning gorgeous, gorgeous building on I-95, and one of the things that makes it gorgeous is it's all lit up at night. And because the lighting of it is important to me, to the essence of the building, I print it in Glowfell. And so I feel like this has a good shot of selling well at the craft show, so that's another one that I'm amping up and ramping up and doing. Other staples that have done really well are cork kitties. I print the heads and the butts, or the heads and the tails, and we stick a cork in them. Uh, it gets a lot of attention because people like the upcycling of it. Kids love it. So, um, you know, I'm just printing a bunch of those, and I'll try to keep my price point low for the kits. New designs. I'm working with something with embedded mirrors, and I'm also feeling very inspired by quilting right now. Looking at, like, maybe wall hangings. This is a smaller version of it that has mirrors in it. Uh, I'm not that satisfied with this trial run because uh, it looks like a coaster. So I need to uh, jazz it up a little bit. Also on the quilt theme, um, I'm playing with these little quilt candle cozies. Um, these are LED candles, by the way, so they won't get hot. Um, 
So the idea here is it's, you know, it looks like a little quilt square and you can put it in to jazz up your candles. Uh, they are stackable and I figure I'll have a bunch of other colors here so people can sort of pick and choose. So that's another thing that I'm working on. And then finally, I really, really, really want to do 3D printed bow ties. My show is the weekend before Father's Day and I think that, you know, some people are going to be in the market for Father's Day gifts. I have a base model for my bow tie. It's not there yet. I, I, I have visions and sketches in my head of what I want and still have a great deal of work to do and hope the printing goes smoothly. Well, that's today's episode. I hope I see some of you guys at the printed solid opening. If not, have a great day and um, yeah, follow me on Twitter at TJAW. My blog is at www.tga.com and I've got a, a child uh, arriving, so I gotta go. Bye.